Jim Appel, Yaku. Oh. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm gonna call him Steve. He was the best. But he flew away. Nothing lasts forever. So we were just uh, down in the basement of the March to film. Found out about the uh, quotation that you buy. Apparently it's not worth it. Um, but what you can do is do what these people are doing. Um, and just kind of stand here with a sign. And be like, hey, please invite me in <laughs> if you're already in. And then basically somebody who has already has a pass can give you an invitation and you can go watch basically anything that they give you. So that's cool. A uh, lot of options to see things. Um, our accreditations for the short and corner only start from the 22nd. So we're here, but we technically can't watch any of the films yet. Unless we get an invitation. I don't know if we're going to try that. Maybe. What do you think, Steph? You want to try? I'm begging you. <laughs> we'll let you know. Just dancer. Hey guys. Hello. We are on the island of Saint Marguerite, I think. This is where we are. We're gonna go exploring. It's literally off the it's literally off the coast of Cannes. Like that can over there. Um, let's see what's around. We are at the Fort Museum now. Let's see what happens inside. It was a really long walk. So we just went into the, the prison and the museum and this is pretty cool. This is the exact prison where the man with the iron mask was held prisoner. And um, there's this really cool story inside about another guy um, who in 1777 mm -hmm. was also imprisoned in the same prison as the man with the iron mask. Um, but then in 1990 they discovered literally little pieces of papers um, that he had written on. Um, and literally stacked or stuffed inside of a wall and covered it, like, it up and covered it up um, looks like they had some sort of um, art on the walls and he sort of just painted over it or something to keep it protected and it's pretty crazy so this guy Andrew McDonough is an Irishman who was uh, orphaned when he was 12 and sent to France to live with his uncle and in 1970 he became a, uh, knight. a knight of the order of Saint Louis which is, which is pretty cool but then his brother and his wife conspired against him and and had him arrested they got a warrant from the minister of law mm -hmm. and justice and um and back in those days the king had complete control over who uh could go to prison and it was for various reasons he could just not have liked the, the person or whatever but then also families had the right to actually request somebody to be thrown in prison and then he would then be fed um, at the expense of the family so if the family really hated you you would never eat anything um, so that's what happened and they lied and they said that he, he was an in, insubordinate they, uh, they thought he was an English spy yeah. they did two body searches every single day for 12 years for 12 years they checked all of his food they checked everything to make sure that he didn't even have a little watch spring but still somehow he managed to get a hold of paper and write memoirs which they found only in 1990. 1990. That's uh, 210 years later, later <laughs> they found his memoirs literally stashed in a wall. That's pretty crazy. Sad. Yeah. We started here, then we walked up here, then we walked around to there, then we came back down here, then we walked around here to 
there. Then we walked back there. Then we came back here, walked around there, came back here, walked there, then there, then there, came around, stopped here for a little while. And now we're going back up here, there, 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 and then we're getting on the boat there. So we just got off of our first like bus ride. Um, we met two really interesting people. An old couple. Um, they started talking to us in French, but our, my French isn't good enough to keep up. And they so, don't speak English. And they don't speak English at all. So Stephanie whips out her <laughs> iPhone and she uses this app called... I think it's Speak, speak and Translate. Speak and Translate. And we literally have this little conversation. Like we speak English into the microphone and then it translates for them <laughs> and the other way around. But then the app stopped working <laughs> midway through and it's like, oh no, now we have to type. I think the French have a different keyboard. Maybe. Yeah, they, uh, really they, they looked at the keyboard and they were like, no. But anyways, and then I take out my phone and uh, we start using Google Translate. Which is just as well. And yeah, we're just literally for the rest of the trip, which like is like 20 a minutes. 20 minutes bus trip, just chatting with this old couple. They were really, really nice. All um, the people on the bus just laughing at us. Yeah, yeah, lo young people, <laughs> the old people trying to translate stuff. It was really cool. Um, so yeah. <sighs> hey guys. Okay, so I've been trying to upload this vlog for like. It's like 9.20. I'm in like in the middle of the closet. The internet at our apartment has just been broken. I wanted to upload this thing tonight. I don't know if it's going to be possible. If not, I'll just upload this tomorrow morning. Like the Wi-Fi is just... Oh, I don't get it. Like the other day I was uploading the previous vlog at like super speed. So. <laughs> Anyways, just not my night. Um, I'll try to get it up as soon as possible. Well. Oh, well, by the time you watch this, it's already up. So I don't know why I'm telling you this. We've been lied to. That place is not pink. <laughs>